Instagram live where I'm going to show you a new something new. So I was saying there's two options. I'm either showing you interior design since that's what I do or art, which is what I work with also. So today we're going to talk about art. There's a new exhibition that just started this weekend and that is um, displayed for a month from the artist Mira Schnidler, who is German based in LA. She's been living in LA for quite a while. And so I like this story because um, when she's European, as I am, she lives in the US and she was visiting New York for a month this summer and she was doing a residency and she got really inspired by the hustle and bustle that you can find in New York um, and created a series of beautiful paintings that are exhibited here. Um, different sizes, different styles, I could say also. Um, so I'll give you a quick tour so you can see the different paintings. Explain, I'll explain a little bit about her style and hopefully um, you can understand why I like those paintings so much. So let's start. So the first one here is called The Crown and you'll see there's a common thread between the different paintings. The Crown here. This is the woman and the cat. And then you have a series right here of small paintings. So to compare, I have an A4 piece of paper here. So it's really nice because these small paintings, you need to get closer to see the details and then you see how much work has been put into it. It's, it's so interesting. This one is called Wild Woman. This one is called The Lady. This is Woman and Basket. This one is Untitled. Ooh, the color just changed. It's blue and green. You can really appreciate the shadows that are created with the green on the face. I love it. This is Wild Woman number two. So there was a first one in the beginning and this one is also Wild Woman. This is called Wheat like flower wheat. And this is called Bird Girls. So as you can see, there's a lot of representation of the woman, the wild woman, the untamed woman. Sometimes she's quiet here. Then you have this painting called Queen. That's bigger. I love it. And then... I don't know if I should show you my favorite now. I'll show you my favorite at the end. Bottles of champagne, not for breakfast. Let me take you a little bit backstage with the two last ones. So this one is called Celebration. As you can see, a lot of colors, a lot of confettis, and a woman again. And then another one called sunlights and you can understand why it's called sunlight I'm sure i don't need to explain it so let me show you my favorite one which is i think about 7.5 feet high it's huge it's huge but it's an absolute masterpiece let me show it to you so I can't even back up, yeah, I can. So this is the maximum I can show you from one wall to the other. I'll let you look at the details. This for me is just absolutely stunning. It's, I mean, this is just my opinion, but for me, she's really the next Picasso in her own style. It's, it's unbelievable. You have the, it's a mix between fi figurative art and abstract. You have a bit of Matisse, influences of Matisse. I mean, this is not what the artist says. This is what I say, so I might be wrong. A little bit of Matisse with the inspiration of the female body, a bit of Gauguin that um, used to represent a lot of female figures in colorful natures. And then you have all the complexity of the painting itself. 
the different nuances of colors, the different greens, the different blues, everything that's happening. So this one is called The Garden. So it's a lot of female figures in a garden, a lot going on. It's, it's really just beautiful. And so to go a little bit back about, um, about the artist, about Mira, why I like her so much, why I decided to talk about her. Um, her main source of mod motivation is, as you can see, color. So everything is super colorful, a lot of greens, reds, blues, so the primary colors. So it's like an explosion of, of, um, of optimism, of celebration, of life, basically. Also very connected to nature with all the, the colors you can find in nature. Um, which is what I do in my job. Every time I go at someone's apartments, I'm like, please, let's put color in your apartment. Let's stop with the gray and the white. So that really talks to me. Color, it's, it's life. Um, her process, so back to her, she um, works a lot, like a lot of artists, about her art is about emotions and feelings. But with her, they evolve during the creative process, meaning that she'll probably have an emotion at the beginning, starting the painting, and then it'll change during the painting, and she's kind of like accepting of that change. It's not like she has like a specific idea in mind when she starts the painting. Um, as someone said, she, to me, she has a very, she's very confident in her brush strokes and very um, affirmed in her style, meaning she works very quickly because it's just, it's obvious for her. It's very aligned where she's going, what she's doing, and you can really see it in the result. It's just, it's for me, it's unbelievable. Um, she thinks, she sees, as most of us do, art as a form of healing, not only for the artist themselves, but also for the recipient of art, which is us, the viewer. Um, And what's very interesting, there's one painting that I haven't shown, shown here, but I'll show it maybe on a, on a post or on a story. Um, she drew a figure, a female figure, with a woman with her two arms like this, and it's called Daphne. And it's a story I didn't know of Greek mythology of um, this woman called Daphne who were, was disgusted by love. I don't know what happened to her. I think someone put a spell on her. And so every man that was coming up to her, um, to be romantically involved with her, she would push away because she wasn't interested in it. And one day Apollo, Ap Apollo came to her and, uh, <laughs> thank you, hi Juliet. Apollo, you're gonna love this Juliet. We're talking about women, wild women, love, um, so stay. So one day Apollo came to Daphne and was interested in her romantically and she didn't know how to push him away. So she went to her dad, so the dad of Daphne, who to save her from men who were trying to get to her or trying to um, pursue her, um, not necessarily, we're not talking about aggression or anything, um, he transformed her in a tree. So that's like a Greek, uh, Greek mythology story, which is uh, very symbolic, very interesting. And so Mira painted, um, was inspired by this story and painted um, this story. So I'll, I'll show it because it, it's in a place where I can't really, really show it right now. So hoping you like all these paintings it's in a gallery called the Delhi grocery it's located in uh flushing new york it's a 25 minute ride from downtown manhattan and you better come quickly because these pieces are are going i know i'll get a couple bye